Mr. Pei? No way. I slept with my own boss. I'm finished. Why did I sleep with him? I slept with this walking disaster. I cannot let him know it was me. Otherwise, I'm dead. This necklace. Luyan. Stop. Where did you go last night? You haven't come back since you sent Mr. Pei back to his room. I called you, but no one answered. Could it be that you spent the night with Mr. Pei? Don't talk nonsense. I came back. I didn't wake you up because you were sleeping so soundly, and I went to my breakfast. No way. He found me so quickly. Come to the company immediately. Mr. Pei, you wanted to see me? Last night. Where were you? I was in my room. After I sent you back to your room, I... My necklace! How did I leave it in the room? Last night, a woman climbed into Mr. Pei's bed. Mr. Pei, I... You... Work with Lu Yan to find this woman within 24 hours. Find her? Doesn't he know that it was me last night and that this pendant is mine? Assistant Gu, do you have something to tell me? No, I don't. I... I'll go find her right away. Mr. Pei, should I bring her to you after I find her? After you find her, I'll handle it. It's over. Luoyang will make me disappear from Gan City without a trace. That woman must be sent by Liang Mangke, eyeing my family's wealth, and wants to tie up that old man Pei Xing Feng. But now she dares to interfere in my marriage. She drugged you first, and then hit that woman. This method of doing things is very similar to your stepmother's style. It seems she's determined to make you marry the one she wants. She's gone too far this time. She wants to wait until this woman is pregnant, and then use it to threaten me. Find her as soon as possible. Yes. It's like a thief catching a thief. Let Loya handle it. When he finds out it was me, he'll sell me overseas to cut off my kidney or bury me in cement. Isn't this Ku Yin's precious necklace she always wears? Yin, you dropped your necklace. Keep it safe. Don't drop it again. Isn't this your most important... Shh. What did you say? You just said, whose necklace is this? It's Kuyin's. This is the necklace I just dropped, thanks to Chu. Otherwise, Mr. Pei gave me such an important thing that I almost lost it. Mr. Pei, don't worry. I will find the owner as soon as possible. Remember, you only have 24 hours. What? Kuyin, what are you talking about? Isn't this the most important thing your mom left you? From now on, don't let Mr. Pei know that this necklace is mine. What did you do to Mr. Pei? Why are you so nervous? It was me last night. I slept with Mr. Pei. Ah? Uh, what? 
I don't know what happened. I just drank three glasses of wine on behalf of Peisha. Then I lost control of my body. Queen, you've worked for Peisha for three years. You should know how ruthless he is towards women. He cannot be touched. How dare you do it? Oh, what should I do now? Peisha still doesn't know that woman is me. He asked me to find her in 24 hours. Are you sure he didn't know it was you? Otherwise, he wouldn't have asked me to find the owner of the necklace. Resign and leave now, or else when he finds out, you'll be done for. I've heard that someone sent women to him and he ruined them financially and even drove them out of Gang City overnight. People like us would end up thrown into the sea to feed the fish. Hello, auntie? Go in. How long have I been telling you to arrange a job for your cousin? He needs an internship certificate next month. I didn't agree. And also, your mom's gambling debts are being collected at our doorstep. They want 100,000 with interest. You should have some pay soon. I'll take your grandma's house as payment. True. I cannot quit my job. My auntie, she wants to take my grandma's house to pay off the debts. It's the only hope my sister and I have for survival. Though it's not worth much, but... So? What will you do? Are you going to confess to the boss? Wait for him to throw you into the sea to feed the fish? Uh, uh, what should I do now, Ju? Don't cry, don't cry. I'll help you. Mr. Pei, I've checked in the surveillance room. After I sent you back to your room last night, no one else entered. As for the necklace, it should have been left by the previous tenant. What do you mean should have been? Oh no, Pei Xiao hates uncertain answers. After I sent you back to your room, no one else entered. There's nothing on surveillance. Luian, Mr. Pei, what can I do for you? Take someone to the hotel and ask if there were any witnesses at the time. Ask Gu, you don't look well. I'm sorry, Mr. Pei. I haven't been resting well lately. And I'm a bit hypoglycemic. Hypoglycemic. Oh, Mr. Pei, don't bother. Shut up. There's food here. Eat and rest well before you leave. Mr. Pei, actually I'm fine. Do you want me to say it again? Okay, thank you Mr. Pei. You're welcome. Why haven't you come back yet? Were you detained by Mr. Pei? Assistant Gu. Explain yourself. What did you do to be detained by me? I'm sorry, Mr. Pei. I made a mistake. You work hard and rigorously. What's there to be sorry? Why are you scared? Say something. Did Mr. Pei find out? What are you afraid that I'll find out? What are you afraid I might find out? I... Three, two... I took a part-time job during my vacation, a relief sculptor, but it's unrelated to the company's business. It won't affect the company's interest. Part-time job? Yes. A relief sculptor? Yes. With your physical condition, people might think that the pace can't afford a little assistant. From now on, your salary will be double and you should focus entirely on your work. Quit the part-time job. Yes. Assistant Gu, please come with me tomorrow. There might be eyewitnesses in the hotel. Oops. Uh, uh, Young lady, are you okay? Uh, I'm sorry. <sighs> Two. Chu, what should I do? Mr. Ross said he's going to the hotel now to look for witnesses. He'll definitely notice a security guard. I don't think I can hide it anymore. I should quit my job and run away now. But what about your house? Sell it? No. The house is the only property left by my grandma. I cannot sell it. I have an idea. It's a bit risky, but I can give it a try. Hello, Mr. Luo. I suddenly feel a little unwell today. Do you need me to take you to the hospital? 
Ah, no, no, that's okay. I just have to ask you to go to the hotel and check the surveillance yourself. All right, then. Take care and rest. Ah, okay. He asked me to find him an internship again. You have time to nag me about this. You've already interfered with several companies. You're an adult. Can't you handle your own work matters? Hello? Say something. Then who does Assistant Good think is a better candidate for me? Mr. Pei? I just wanted to greet you. That you seem to be recovering well. I'm sorry, Mr. Bay. I didn't mean to. Now go back to the company. It's over. How did I get myself into this mess? <laughs> Mr. Bay, I'm sorry. I answered the wrong call earlier. I didn't mean to offend you. I'm sorry. Assistant Gu. Though the company has no right to interfere in your romantic freedom, I still want to remind you. Romance? No, no, Mr. Pei, you misunderstood. I'm not in a romantic relationship. The person I scolded just now is my cousin. Cousin? My cousin. He just graduated from college this year. He's a grown man, but he wants me to find him jobs every day. How can I get him a job? Well, I guess scolding was justified. Mr. Pei, you're not angry? Am I angry? Mr. Pei, the eyewitness has been found. Oh, hello, Mr. Pei. This is the security guard from the hotel that day. Hey, aren't you? Hey, aren't you? You know each other? Oh, I know you. Aren't you Mr. Pei's assistant? I've always seen her by Mr. Pei's side, busy with everything. Luckily, Ju is so thoughtful and considerate. Afterwards, if someone asks you if you've seen a girl, just say, you don't remember what she looks like. Ah, I got it. Don't worry. I see so many people every day. How can I remember everyone's appearance so clearly? Remember what you said, and you'll be able to work here longer. Understood, understood. According to the security guard, he seems to have forgotten what that woman looks like. Does that mean our lead is lost? Although we lost the eyewitness testimony, we still have the video evidence. I checked the footage back then. No one else went in. Because we were in a hurry last time, our investigation might not have been true enough. So, to be on the safe side, I brought back the master disk of the hotel's video surveillance. What? You brought back the master disk? What's up? Oh, nothing. I was just admiring how professional Mr. Wu is. It's sober. Because this matter is so important, I'm going to investigate every surveillance camera in the hotel. If that woman shows up, I'm sure she'll show her face. Let's check now. Yes. Mr. Pei, would you like some coffee or something? I guess that woman should appear, not long after Assistant Gu leaves. What the hell? If he checks further, I'm done for. Why don't you try this black tea? No thanks. I think this is it. It's over! Mr. Pei, actually, I... Actually, I... What's wrong? It malfunctioned. Cannot believe I got so lucky. What happened? I think there's a problem with the device software. Really? What are you happy about? I'm not happy. It's just that Mr. Lo has worked so hard for so long, but everything is gone. Poor guy. Is that so? Well, what were you about to say earlier? Mr. Pei, tell me. Mr. Chin, the head of the IT department, he said he could fix it in an afternoon. Can this be fixed? Back when our system was hacked, Mr. Chin single-handedly counter-hacked the attacker. Call him over immediately. Yes. How is it going, Mr. Chin? Can this be fixed? A 30% chance? Three hours. I'll fix it. I'll give you one hour. If you can fix it, your year-end bonus will double. No problem, Mr. Pei. 
One hour. I won't even have time to go home and pack. It's over. I'll be dead. Resignation? Ma'am, what are you doing? Didn't I just handle that security guard for you? We did handle the security guard, but Mr. Luo brought back the surveillance footage from the hotel and he asked Mr. Chin from the IT department to fix it in the meeting room. Yan Chu, I'm done for. If you quit now, didn't I do all the work for nothing? If I don't quit now, you'll be busy collecting my dead body afterwards. I heard that. Mr. Chin is a pervert. I'll distract him while you steal the hard drive. You want me to seduce him? No, I'll resign. Don't worry, I'm here. You take your cue from me. Hurry up. Hey, Mr. Chin, I've been working on a plan for a week, but I didn't click save and it's gone. But I... Hey, come on now. That intern last week submitted his proposal 10 minutes late and he got scolded by Mr. Chow for a whole day. I don't want to be scolded like that. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, I'm doing it for your sake. I know you're the best. Okay, I'll take a look for you. Don't worry. It's nothing. I can handle it in a minute. I'm telling you, no problem. She is really something. There is nothing she cannot handle. What are you doing? What are you doing? I, I'm afraid Mr. Chin is working too hard, so I'm here to see how he's doing. Jeez, it's not right. The program I set up should easily fix the video in an hour. How did even the motherboard get fried? Which one of you two touched the hard disk? No, we didn't. Jeez, it seems now that it can't be fixed. My year and bonus! Uh, an hour has passed, and you're just telling me now that the last lead has been lost. Mr. Chin is doing his best to fix it. This is indeed my negligence. Though, is there any other lead? This clue may relay on you, Mr. Lee. You are the only one who has had close contact with that woman. Surely there must be some distinguishing features about her. I remember on the back of her neck, there was a red mole. Assistant Gu, the email regarding the main city construction project has been sent to your inbox. Send it to Mr. Pace's house today for him to sign. Okay, I'll go do that now. Mr. Pei? Are you home? I'm sorry, Mr. Pei. Ah! Your brain has been injured in the past two days. I'm so sorry, Mr. Pei. I'm here to deliver some documents. Wipe off the water on you. Mr. Pei. I'll take this document back after you sign it. Wait a minute. What's wrong, Mr. Pei? Assistant Gu, please explain. What is this? L last night, I accidentally slept in the wrong position and got a stiff neck, so I put a plaster to relieve it. Is the smell too strong? Should I take it off? No, just take care and rest. Wait a minute. Explain to me! What is this? Resignation application? How did I end up reading it out? Did the company treat you badly? No, I didn't. Then Assistant Gu has a problem with me. I wouldn't dare to say that. Wouldn't dare. 
Doesn't mean you don't have any, Assistant Gu. Seems to be afraid of me. What are you afraid of? Of course I'm afraid you'll find out that. I'm the woman who slept with you that day and killed me. You think, son? do you consider me dead if I don't call you? Do you consider me dead if I don't call you? Of course I do. But there are plenty of people who want you dead more than I do. Let me tell you, if you haven't broken your leg, get your ass back home by the end of the month. What for? What else? Your mom's birthday. First of all, I'm not obligated to go with you to please an outsider. Who are you calling an outsider? And let me warn you, I have only one mom and she's already dead. Watch your words in the future. You bastard. Lord, please calm down. At your age, don't argue with Xiao anymore. I understand how he feels. I never expected that after all these years, he still refuses to accept you. It's alright. This time, we're bringing Xiao back to arrange a marriage between our families. If he marries my cousin's niece, even if he doesn't accept me, we'll still be one family. That's true. Mr. Pei, if there is nothing else, I'll leave now. I haven't finished yet. Where are you going? <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Pei. The resignation is just a misunderstanding. I'm going back to the company now to deliver a document. Secretary Law is waiting for me. <sighs> I finally escaped from Hades. Hello, Mr. Pei. Liang Monkey has taken action. Get someone to keep an eye on her. Since she has so much free time, don't blame me for causing trouble for the Liangs. We've been following Liang Monkey for a while, but we haven't found any suspicious meetings she had. The fox has multiple layers. Keep monitoring her. By the way, Mr. Chin has already contacted the world's top hacker to help fix the video, but the price as long as it can be fixed. Money's no object. Okay, I'll bring him to Gang City within two days. It's been almost two months so far, right? Liang Mangke dared to mess with me this time. She must have gotten the answer she wanted. You mean that woman is already... If she's really pregnant, what should we do? Then we'll find a woman to marry in advance. <coughs> Sorry, I'm sorry. Just say what you want to say. I mean, could that woman be Assistant Gu? Because she's the only one who claimed to have watched all the videos. And she's the only one who drove you to the hotel. Her? She wouldn't dare to seduce me, even if I gave her the courage. Uh, Mr. Pei, why are you laughing? It just suddenly occurred to me, what should I give to Liang Manke on her birthday night? Mr. Pei? Are you asleep? God. I'm so screwed. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Mr. Peck. I just wanted to pick up your blanket. Get up already. My hair is stuck. I'll pull it out. Wait a minute. Wait, what are you doing? Mr. Pei, my hair is completely stuck. Can you take off your suit pants first so I can get my hair out? What did you say? Mr. Pei, earlier you asked me to... Uh, oh, I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. Get out!
I heard that she seduced Mr. Pei doing you know what in the office in broad daylight. Yeah, yeah. She has no shame. I heard you failed to seduce Mr. Pei today and got kicked out of the office. It's only one lunch and the word is out. If I tell you that I only saw him asleep and picked up the blanket for him, would you believe me? You really have nothing better to do. Capetio, even if he froze to death, it has nothing to do with you. Why did you bother covering him with a As blanket? You, said, you must be crazy. You make a good point, but I realized it too late. However, maybe this is a good thing. How can it be good? Think about it. Mr. Pei doesn't like women who throw themselves at him. He must think you're playing hard to get and doesn't want to see you these days. Hey, let's avoid contact with him as much as possible so that our secret doesn't get exposed. But what if he fires me? Come to my office after work. Oh, he, he, is he really going to fire me? Mr. Pei, you asked for me? Come here. <sighs> Mr. Pei, when I take a vacation, I'll definitely cut my hair short. Why do you want to cut it? At lunchtime. It wasn't intentional. Tying it up might make you look more elegant. I'll do it myself. And then change into this. What is this? Come with me to the Pei's house. Auntie, do you think Pei Shao will come today? Whether he comes or not, it's not important. As long as Pei Xingfeng approves of you, we will be halfway to success. But that night at the hotel... Shh! Since that night's plan didn't work out, let's not mention it again. We mustn't let Pei Xiao know what we did. Mr. Pei, you're back. This is... Call her Mrs. Pei. What? Mrs. Pei. Mrs. Pei. Mrs. Pei. What does this mean? From now on, you are the woman from that night. But I'm not. If I say you are, then you are. If anyone asks later, you have to say you are. Why? Because this is your job from now on. Who are you? My fiance. This is Liang Yi, a nobody, so it's fine if you can't remember her. Xiao, you've only been back for a few days. When did you find a new girl partner? Why didn't you tell us? I'm going to see Lord Pei. Wait for me here. But, but I... Now you are the prospective Mrs. Pei, so treat this place as your own home. You don't have to talk to anyone else. Prospective Mrs. Pei? I'm just an assistant. Stop! Where the hell did you come from? Do you deserve to stand beside Xiao? Miss Liang, who decides whether I deserve it or not? It's not up to you, is it? It's up to Mr. Pei. Mr. Pei? Oh, I remember now. You are his assistant. I've been exposed so soon. Pei Xiao, come back, you unfilial son. Do you want to anger me to death? Lord, calm down. Take care of your health. I've already brought back your daughter-in-law. There can only be one Mrs. Pei, and that is Gu Yin, a humble assistant. How can someone like her become the daughter-in-law of the Pei's? Yes, I agree. Xiao, it's a major life event. You have to think it through. No? Well...
What's wrong with an assistant? What about the person next to you? Wasn't she once a lowly assistant as well? Yeah. You! Does Special already know it was me that night? All that's left now is a wedding. How much dowry do you think is suitable for marrying Pei Xing Feng's daughter-in-law? You unfilial son! Get out of here! I don't have an unfilial son like you! Get out of here! Hey, let's gun <sighs> down! Gun down! Alas. Should I take the opportunity to confess to him? Mr. Pei, actually, I have to confess to you that... Bring your household registration tomorrow when you come to work. We're getting married. What? Pardon? You and I tomorrow getting married. No! You are not willing? This is nothing about willingness. This is this is marriage. It is not a game. And before my grandma passed away, she repeatedly urged me. She said, I must marry someone with a good temper. Looks don't matter. He should at least treat me well. And also... So you think I have a bad temper? I'm not good looking? Or I don't treat you well? Well, that's not it. You are very good. It's just... Just an agreement. A agreement? What agreement? You just saw it. That woman wants me to marry a person she arranged, so it's convenient for her to fight for the pay's assets. I suspect that it was her who arranged the woman that night. So, this is the actual reason why he must find that woman. Since you didn't help me find her, then why don't you play her role? Me? I am going to play myself? But I... What did you want to confess to me about just now? Well, I... I wanted to confess that, uh, that the real reason I resigned is my hometown. They want me to go back to meet someone and get married. So I cannot sign any agreement with you or anything. Twenty million. If you agree to marry me, after we break up, I will give you twenty million as compensation. You can choose whether to go back home for marriage or take the 20 million. I cannot leave Gang City if I want to keep my grandma's house. Now that I have no choice, why not seize this opportunity to make some money that my sister and I can live worry-free for the rest of our lives? Alright, I agree. But, Mr. Pei, can we make a prior agreement to include a clause in the contract that I won't help you with your physical needs? I don't accept any hidden rules. You're negotiating terms with me? I wouldn't dare. You wouldn't dare? Then today, why did you help me with the plank? Oh, Mr. Pei, didn't we talk about it? That was just a misunderstanding. Go back, Shahafila. Mr. Pei, didn't we agree? I don't accept any hidden rules. Recently, you have to act to shut them up. Just pretend for now. Live together. Drive. That's reasonable. There are new slippers in the shoe cabinet. There are only man's clothes at home. Bear with it. Mr. Pei, I... Assistant Gu, don't you need you take a shower before going to bed? Assistant Gu, don't you need to take a shower before going to bed? Oh, yes. I'll take a shower. I'll take a shower. We have already picked up the hacker contacted by Manager Chin. They said they can recover two hours of content. Mr. Pei, it is so late, but I seem to hear Assistant Gu's voice. She's here with me. Are you alive? Ah, yes. You can continue to follow up on the video. I've got things to do here. I'll talk to you later. What's wrong? Mr. Pei, uh, I don't have bath towel. Thank you, Mr. Pei. Oh no, 
He won't think that I was trying to use this cheap trick to seduce him, right? The bath towel. Didn't you take a shower? Why is your body still so cold? I was inside for a while. Is there anything interesting in there? I didn't want to bother you for a towel. Didn't we agree on this? It's just a contract. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Pei! We agreed. It's just a contract. Just a contract. Go to sleep. Okay. Where should I sleep? Upstairs. The second room. Auntie! Pei Xiao wants to marry that bitch who came out of nowhere. What should I do then? Crying won't help instead of wasting time here. Why don't you think about how to make her leave Pei Xiao? Auntie! Do you have any ideas? I'll get someone to investigate her background. I believe that money can buy anyone off. I still don't know how to explain it to auntie and her family. Are you Miss Gu? Let's talk. Okay. Miss Gu, you're a smart person. Do you understand what I mean? Mrs. Liang, I am not smart. I don't understand what you're saying. Okay, since you're pretending you didn't get my point, I'll be straightforward. Xiao is the heir of the base. And where are you? Just a country girl who came from nowhere. Do you think you deserve to marry into the base? If I were you, I would take this 10 million sell that lousy house and run away but unfortunately you are not me and i cannot fulfill your wish what do you mean i know pei xiao is out of my league but you don't have the right to drive me away from him with money you said i don't have the right well you're not his biological mother you're just his stepmother you're gonna turn down my offer <laughs> Don't expect to gain approval of Lord Pei. You don't have to threaten me. I'm gonna marry Pei Xiao, not Lord Pei. Enjoy your coffee. I've got things to do at the office. I gotta go. You think you can buy me off with a mere 10 million? If Pei Xiao finds out that I dare to betray him, the consequence will be much worse. What kind of information did you find? This girl is clever and sharp-tongued, not timid or fearful at all. Lan! Hey, Yin. Why are you here so late? Don't you have work tomorrow? Are they making you do household chores again? I'm fine. It's just daily housework, since we're living under their roof. It's only right to contribute more. Come in. Mom, I really want to buy. Stop! When are you going to bring home your future daughter-in-law? Auntie, where did you get the money to buy all these things? Instead of spending it like this, you should use it to repay your debts. Auntie, I repay our debts, including the interest, every month, on time. If you don't want these, then give them to Lan and my nephew, so they can take care of their health. Guyin, I ask you to arrange an internship for me. How's it going? When can I start working at the pace? I told you already, I'm just an assistant there. I don't have the connections to help you get in. You have to figure out work matters on your own. Gu Yin, how could you do this? Since you can help with anything, why did you come back? I came to get my household registration. Household registration? Why do you need it? 
At the end of this year, our company is organizing a trip. I need a household registration for passport application. Passport? Really? Does your company have any documents to prove it? No. With so much debt unpaid, are you gonna take the household registration, then sell the house and run away? Oh, don't marry me! When did I stop repaying the money? Didn't I say? Hey, why are you so anxious? It seems like I was right. Yes. You're hiding something, right? Let me tell you, you wanna take the household registration? No way. Keep dreaming! That registration was originally... Hello? Is it done? Mr. Pei, I'm sorry. I've got a problem at home. I don't think I'll be able to take the household registration for now. Send me the address. Mr. Pei, no need. Actually, I... Three, two... I'll send it to you right now. What do you think this place is? You think you can do whatever you want here? Listen, you do. If you don't repay all the debt, no matter who comes here, you cannot take the household registration anyway. How much does she owe? Who are you? Mr. Pei. What? Mr. Pei? Then I'm Mr. Pei's mom. You can't take the household registration because you owe her money? Yes. How much do you owe? 500,000 yuan. That's not enough. Look. Over the years, I've let you two eat our food and live in our house, including the interest. It adds up to at least... Here's one million. Give me the household registration. You just randomly said one million yuan. Why should I believe you? Hey, why? Why? Because I'm her boss. Oh no, he is the CEO of the Pays. Pei Zhao. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Pei, it's you. Forgive me for what I said. Gosh. What a pleasure that you came here. We're so sorry for not, not giving, giving you a, a proper, proper welcome. welcome. The household registration. Oh, right. Son, go and get the household registration. Oh, yes. Hurry up. Huh? Mom, the household registration is here. Here. Here is the household registration. Her grandmother passed away. The only family she has is her sister. Luan will come later and pick up your sister. Let's go. Wait, Yin. Don't worry, Lan. Mr. Pei will send someone to come here and pick you up. Okay. Mr. Pei, thank you for today. I'll try my best to repay the money to you as soon as possible. Consider it as a down payment for the agreement. What matter is, I want you to tell me the truth. Truth about what? What's the relation between you and Liang Monkey? Liang Monkey? I have nothing to do with her. You didn't know her before? No. But someone saw you this afternoon, meeting her at a coffee shop. Uh, yes. Indeed, I had a meeting with her today, but before that, I had only met her once at the pace. What did she say? She gave me a check and asked me to leave you. And how did you respond? Of course I was very angry. Angry? Yes, very angry. She offered me 10 million to leave Gang City and said I don't deserve you. Although she was right, I could get 20 million yuan working for you. She offered only 10 million yuan to betray you. Why should I say yes to her? So in the end, it's because of the lack of money? No, it's not because of the money. It's because, because you're scarier. Because you're nicer to me. Mr. Pei, do we have to stay here? I want to go home. We'll go to the office of city clerk tomorrow morning. It's more convenient to go together. A new maid will come here in two days. If you need anything, just tell her. She will take care of everything for you.
It's so late. If I cook some noodles secretly, he probably won't find out, right? What are you doing? What are you doing? Mr. Pei, I, I, I was making something to eat. I didn't mean to blow up your kitchen. Just tell me, how much should I pay for your renovation? Take it out from my salary. You owed me 1 million yuan today. What are you paying me with? With yourself? Step aside. Get out. Why are you looking at me? Eat it. I had no idea you could cook. You're surprised. Mm. My mother taught me. It also surprised me that you couldn't even cook noodles. Mr. Pei, if that's what you want, I will learn. But I'm unwilling to move. I'll find a maid to cook tomorrow. You stay away from kitchen from now on. Hurry up. Time for bed. Sorry. I'll take care of such an important certificate. Okay. What about the agreement? When do we sign it? Luoyan will come to you. You don't go? Is it better if we split up? For secrecy? You're quite considerable. Ah, Mr. Pei! How come Kuyan came with Mr. Pei? The rumor in office that she should choose Mr. Pei is true. Hey! Big news! Have you heard? Mr. Luo going back home to inherit the family business. He and Mr. Pei are going to select a new first assistant within our company. Wow! Mr. Luo is really from a wealthy family. Of course! I heard that when he and Mr. Pei were abroad and they studied together, well, shouldn't you focus on the candidates? Hmm, Yan has been with Mr. Luo for so many years. If we consider work abilities, she should be the one. It could also be Chang Fei. Wait, aren't you considering yourself? I'm already busy hiding from Mr. Pei every day. Why would I get close to him? Am I crazy? Assistant Ku, here is the construction project contract. Please deliver it to Ming Zheng Company. Why don't you deliver it yourself? Sorry, I have a meeting with Mr. Pei later. You'll have to do it yourself. Mr. Pei asked me to attend a meeting. I cannot delay these documents for Ming Chang. Then, shall I go? Yan Tu, you don't work in our CEO's office. Mr. Pei asked Assistant Ku to deliver it personally. Will you take the blame if something went wrong? Well, if you don't believe me, then go ask Mr. Pei yourself. Fine, I'll go. Jinian, what's wrong with you? Aston Gu has always been the CEO's dedicated assistant. You know that, right? The CEO of Ming Chang is a notorious pervert. He always takes advantage of these young girls. Why are you making things difficult for her? Dedicated assistant? I think she's just looking for shortcuts. I don't like people who rely on men to get ahead. This is a good opportunity for her to learn a lesson. Are you saying that you made Assistant Gu pretend to be that woman and you're getting married with her? That's right. You can contact the media these days and get the words out. Liang Mangke should completely give up. Okay. This is the repaired footage from the hacker. The 2 hour video is already the limit. I didn't show it to anyone and brought it to you as soon as possible. 
During these two hours after Assistant Gu took you to the hotel, she never came out. Where is Gu Yin? Where is she? Assistant Gu went to Ming Chang to deliver documents. Gu Yin went to Ming Chang. When did she go? 15 minutes ago. Who's in charge of Ming Chang's business? Who asked her to go? Um. Starting from tomorrow, you don't need to come to work anymore. Mr. Pei! Mr. Pei! Mr. Pei, Jin Yan's business ability has always been outstanding. I've been training her as my successor. This little error is not worth it, right? Have you ever seen me give someone a second chance? You two just had a marriage agreement. Alright, I'll call her back right now. But you should think it through. In the repair to our video, she sent you to the hotel and never came out. What happened during those two hours? I'll ask her about this. Oh my goodness, why are you back? I forgot the documents, so I came back to get them. Pei Xiao is looking for you everywhere. Is there an urgent task? No, no, it's that video. Mr. Pei found someone to fix it. Then why am I still here? Hey, listen to me. But the good news is, that video was only restored for two hours. Two hours? I cannot explain it either! I might as well just die! Secretary Gu, where are you going? I left my phone in a taxi. I'm going to look for it. <laughs> it's here! What a coincidence! I am doomed! This time, I'm really going to die! Mr. Pei, what do you want to see me about? Nothing special. Mr. Lu has just asked the world's top hacker to fix the video. Do you want to come and watch the video with us? No, thanks. I have a lot of work to do. I've got to go. Alright. Wait. I want seafood kongi for tonight. If you get off early, buy the ingredients in advance and wait for me at home. Mr. Pei said what? Mm, it's nothing. What? You and Mr. Pei got married and even lived together? Shh, keep it quiet. What do you think Mr. Pei is trying to do? He told me to keep it a secret during the day. Is he not trying to bring me home and dismember me? Since he hasn't exposed you, it means there is still a chance. Don't directly admit it. According to Mr. Pei's personality, he'll eliminate the root of the problem. He'll definitely find out that I helped you behind the scenes. Then, I'll be doomed too. Then if you dare to admit it, I'll cut ties with you. So what should I do now? Continue pretending. The video was only fixed for two hours. Although you didn't come out, they don't know if anyone went in either, right? As long as you firmly deny it, they cannot do anything to you. As long as you firmly deny it, they cannot do anything to you. Ah. Didn't I tell you not to enter the kitchen? Ouch! Mr. Pei, I'll do it myself. What are you panicking about? What are you panicking about? I... Only someone who has done something wrong would feel guilty. What have you done? Firmly deny it! I haven't done anything. You haven't? No. Really? Then what were you doing in my room that night? I... You what? I went out! When? Two and a half hours later. What was the exact time? Oh no, what was the exact time? I forgot to discuss it with Yan Chu. I did go out and I really cannot remember. I was drunk too. Even though you were drunk, you remember leaving. Yeah. It hurts. I hate being lied to. 
think carefully before answering. I hate being lied to. Think carefully before answering. I really went out. I was sharing a room with Yan Chu at the time. He can ask her. Yan Chu? Oh no! Why did I bring up two? If Bei Xiao confronts Yan Chu, is the time we mentioned matched? So it really wasn't you. It really wasn't me. Then what were you doing in my room for such a long time? Oh God! The more I say, the more mistakes I make. How should I come up with a good story? Speak up. It's all your fault, Mr. Bay. Me? What do you mean? That woman that night was really you? Of course, it was me. What on earth do you mean? You vomited many times that night. I was the one taking care of you the whole time. Is that so? Mr. Pei, you vomited a total of three times, twice at the bedside and once in the bathroom. I cleared it all up. Oh no, no, I made up so many details. If he still doesn't buy it, I'll have no choice but to confess. I am sorry too, I really cannot hold on anymore. Mr. Pei, it's my sister. Can I... You had better remember everything you said tonight. Hello, Lan. What's the matter? Yin, where are you? Have you seen the news on the internet? What is going on between you and Mr. Pei? Mr. Pei? Oh, no. Yin. Was that really you? Lan, this woman, she was indeed me, but the whole thing was very complicated. I cannot explain it to you on the phone right now. <gasps> Yin, what's wrong? Lan, I am alright. I just slipped and almost fell earlier. I have to go now. Wait, what's the situation with the marriage? Mr. Pei and I actually had a fake... Yin? You're gonna tell Yin? her that we had a fake marriage? Is there someone with you? Then tell her the truth. Lan, Mr. Pei and I, Pei Xiao and I, did get married. <gasps> it's so sudden! <laughs> Mr. Pei, what do you mean by this? <gasps> Mr. Pei, what do you mean by this? Don't forget to keep it secret. But haven't you seen the news? Did I not make myself clear before? I want you to pretend to be the woman from that day. No matter who it is, you have to say it was you. Mr. Pei, are you saying that the things we need to keep secret is... Only an agreement. Sorry, Mr. Pei. I thought we were going to keep our marriage a secret throughout. Am I someone who can't be seen in public? You keep our marriage a secret. So in the end, you still don't want our relationship to be public. If I don't want Pei Xiao to find out the woman who was in his room that night, it really was me. I shouldn't let too many people pay attention to our relationship right now. Mr. Pei, so if I meet someone in the future who's worth marrying and we need a real marriage, if I make it public now, wouldn't I... You don't think I'm worth marrying you? Alright. It doesn't matter. Do you think anyone else would dare to take my woman? What does that mean? His woman? Mr. Pei, I have to work tomorrow. I'm going to rest. Good night, Mr. Pei. You can take a day off tomorrow and rest at home. Then I will call Mr. Luo. Who are you working for? So? I'll approve it. I'll arrange for a maid to come from the main house tomorrow. Oh, no need for that. I'm not used to it. Then you'll have to get used to it from now on, Miss Pei. Who's outside? How do you do, Mrs. Pei? I am the maid from the Pei's old house. You can call me Auntie Chen. Oh, please come in, Auntie Chen. <laughs> How ungraceful she is when sitting down. The one or Mr. Pei's mother doesn't like her. <laughs> she is even grinning foolishly. Such a bad manner. 
How could Mr. Bay marry her? Mrs. Bay, what do you want for lunch? Ah, oh, there should be leftovers in the refrigerator. Just hit them up for me. Thank you. Eating leftovers? Any problems? Oh, nothing. I'll go heat it up for you right now. From the countryside, huh? <laughs> Clearly haven't seen much of the world. She even eats leftovers. Oh, let me help you, Auntie Chang. Oh, I can't do it myself. It's okay, you don't have to be so polite to me. There is no need. Oh, are you alright, Auntie Chang? This is a very expensive face, Mrs. Bay. You accidentally broke it just now. How can you afford to compensate for it? What are you saying? This face was broken by me? What's wrong? Mr. Bay, just consider it as if I broke it. It has nothing to do with Mrs. Bay. It had nothing to do with me to begin with. Oh, right, right. Mrs. Bay is right. What really happened? Tell me the truth. I just saw Auntie Chang cleaning this face. Mr. Bay, I, I'll tell the truth. I was cleaning just now. But Mrs. Bay insisted on helping. Then she accidentally broke the face. What are you talking about? How can you slander me like this? I've been working in the pace for 10 years. Lord and Madam have always been satisfied with me. This face looks very valuable. I wouldn't make such a low-level mistake. I didn't break the face. I cannot take the blame for this. Mrs. Bay, how could you tell lies? Though I'm just a servant, I also know that this face is very valuable. Little gift who can only eat leftovers. How dare you? You made her eat leftovers? Uh, it was Mrs. Bay's own decision to eat them. Starting from tomorrow, you don't have to come anymore. But, Mr. Bay, I'm from the old house, Lord and Madam. It was for the sake of the old man that I didn't kick you out of the base. Also, this isn't the old house. In my house, she can do whatever she wants, as long as she's happy. Mr. Bay, I know I made a mistake. Please give me another chance. What are you doing? Still here? You want me to see you off? I dare not. I'll leave now. Mr. Pei, thank you for standing up for me. If I don't stand up for you, then who should I stand up for, Miss Pei? Mr. Pei, I really want to thank you. You know that I don't have many relatives at home. I have one sister you've met, then there is my aunt and a cousin, and then there's a mom I'm not in contact with, so I really appreciate you protecting me. Then I'll be your guardian from now on. I'm an adult, why would I need a guardian? Go to sleep. Please, don't leave. Yin. Yin. You're so hot. Don't leave. Don't worry. I won't leave. Why is she sweating so much? No, she will catch cold like this. I need to change her clothes. Calm down, Yin. Let's change into something else, okay? Otherwise, you won't get better. Mm, help me. Change my clothes. Cold. I'm so cold. Go to sleep.
Are you weak? Why are you here? You asked me not to leave yesterday. Me? What's the deal with these clothes? Last night, I clearly didn't wear this outfit. Could it be that he changed it for me? Oh no, I hope I won't be discovered. What's wrong? Mr. Bay, my clothes. Yesterday, you had a maid to help me change, right? Do we have a maid at our house? Of course, it was me who took them off and changed them. Mr. Bay, we are in a fake marriage. Is it real or fake? I suppose it only counts if I say so. Oh no! What should I do? Does he want to make this real? What's wrong? Don't you believe me? I discovered your secret yesterday. Hey, hey, okay, 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 okay. I won't tease you anymore. It's not fun. Yesterday I changed your clothes because you had a fever. I didn't touch anything. I didn't see anything either. Really? That's great! It seems he didn't find out. Why are you smiling? I I'm not smiling. No. No, really. I'm not smiling. Are you hungry? Yes. What do you want to eat? Noodles. Just noodles. Are you going to get up on your own or should I carry you? On my own. I'll get up on my own. Am I confused because of a fever? Why is Mr. Bay suddenly so gentle? Eat slowly. Be careful. It's hot. <coughs> Are you feeling uncomfortable? Yeah, a bit. Maybe I caught a cold last night. It's getting late. You don't have to worry about me, Mr. Pei. If you have something to do, go ahead and take care of it. A new maid will be here soon. Oh, if you really don't feel well, go to the hospital. I can go pick you up later. Okay, Mr. Pei. I'm fine. Mrs. Go, are you all right? I'm fine. Who are you? You can call me Auntie Chen. Let me help you. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you, Auntie Chen. Okay. Take your time. Yen, are you okay? It's only been a few days and you've let yourself deteriorate like this. I caught a cold last night. I wonder if that's why I've been throwing up all day. Even when you caught a cold before, you weren't this fragile. Mrs. Ku, drink some hot water. Okay, thanks. Seeing you like this, Mrs. Ku, I'm sure you're pregnant. Auntie Chen, what nonsense are you talking about? Ah, what's the big deal? Mr. Bay isn't getting any younger. I think it's time for you two to have a child. Ah, um, Auntie Chen, please don't be ridiculous. Yin, she just caught a cold. Um, are you done anything? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm done. Hurry, go to the hospital with me. Be careful. Ah, this. <sighs> Kuyen, tell me the truth. After that night, did you take the pill? Pill? What pill? What else can it be? Birth control pill. <sighs> did you take it or not? Don't you know the consequences of not taking it? Oh, Chu, I, I, I don't remember anything. All I remember is after I returned to the dormitory that day, my stomach hurt a lot, and then perhaps it was then that I. Did you really not take the? Pill? I think I didn't. Let's go. I'll take you to the hospital to check. Uh, oh my god, it's over. I really cannot hide it this time. What should I do, Chu? What else can we do? Just keep lying. Continue to lie? Chu, do you know that the hardest thing to hide in this world is being pregnant? And I'm leaving with him. As time goes on, it will definitely be exposed. I should confess to him as soon as possible. I don't do that. If you do, not only will you be in trouble, but our Yans will also be in trouble. Can't I tell him the truth? No, you can't. Chu, look, 
The doctor told me that I'm already six weeks pregnant. Well, what if I tell him that there is a tumor in my stomach? Ah, oh, don't worry too much, Yin. You still have about four months before your belly starts showing. Let's think about how to get out of this situation in these four months. Ah, um, you should go back first. Pretend that nothing happened. I'll take care of things here at the hospital. Then I'll help you get a prescription of stomach problems. The other thing is... What is it? Are you determined to have this child? Can I not have it? Yes, you can of course choose not to have the baby. It will be a safer choice for all of us. Let me think about it. Hmm, or... You can go back and test Beisha's attitude. Test him? I don't dare! Do you know that? Do you know that the matter of having a child is more sensitive than what happened that night? Ah, then what should we do? Hello, Mr. Pei? Are you still in the hospital? Yes. I'm coming to pick you up. Okay, I'll wait for you at the hospital. Chu, why did you agree to let him pick me up? No, I am! Yin, listen to me right now. You just have a stomach problem. Why are you afraid of Mr. Pei coming to pick you up? Right. Hmm, right. You go back first. You two are living together. Don't reveal anything. I'll go get the prescription first. Keep it a secret for now. Keep it a secret. Nothing happened. I just have a stomach problem. Nothing happened. Here, here, take it. Remember what we talked about? Of course. Oh, wait a minute. I've been experiencing morning sickness. What should I do? Um, usually, morning sickness lasts for three months before it eases. Three months? Then I'll tell him I have gastritis for a month. No, even if I'm sick for just one week, he would get the best doctor for me. Regardless of the result, this is the best you can do for now. Go and test him now. Mr. Pei will be here soon. Hurry up. I gave her the wrong lab results. What did the doctor say? Did they not give you any medication? Nothing. It's just a common case of gastritis. No need for medication. Drinking hot water is enough. What do you want to eat for lunch? Anything is fine. Oh no. Now I feel nauseous just smelling anything. I hope it won't make Pei Xiao suspicious. Hey, Mr. Pei. Long time no see. Who is this? My wife. This is Ye Yun, the boss here. Hello, Mr. Ye. Ah, nice to meet you. So, today, I must try my best to serve you. Wait, wait a minute. Here it comes. Braised fish. Here's the pork knuckle. Hey, the lobster is here. Mr. Pei, Mrs. Pei, quickly, try this. Help yourselves. Okay. Mrs. Pei, don't you like it? Doesn't suit your taste? No, no. I've been having stomach problems lately, so I might not be able to eat anything too greasy. Ah, it's my fault. Sorry for the oversight. I have something light here. It'll be ready soon. Wait a minute. Here it comes. Here, try this. What kind of kongi is it? Ah, boutique seafood kongi. What? What is that? What is the pay? matter? Is Miss Pei pregnant? Don't be absurd. How could that be? Hey, Miss Pei, don't be shy. With Mr. Pei's abilities, having sex to blitz in one go is no problem. <laughs> she really isn't pregnant. Let's not make such jokes in the future. She's sensitive about it. I don't like it either. Wow, oh, oops. It's my fault for speaking too much. Mr. Pei, Miss Pei, you do enjoy your meal. I'll excuse myself. He said he doesn't like it. Is it that he doesn't like joking about being pregnant? Or maybe he just doesn't like children at all? 
Are you hiding something from me? No, I'm not. You know what? You have the same expression every time you lie. No, I definitely cannot tell him about the pregnancy. At least not now. If I remember correctly, you have a house in the old town with an outstanding mortgage. 504, number 12, building 6. What about that house? Mm, nothing. Just a reminder that it's best not to play any tricks with me. I have the ability to help you pay off the loan and I can also take it away from you. Understand? Understood. So, are you sure there's nothing you want to tell me? No, nothing. I, I, I'll go out first. Hello. I'll be right up. I have to go up first. If you're not feeling well, take it slow. Okay. Queen! Queen! Oh my god, I finally found you! I called you more than 20 times! Why didn't you answer? Oh, sorry, Ichu. I was just having dinner with Mr. Pei, so I put it on silent. Oh, the lab report I gave you. Did Mr. Pei see it? Don't let him see it. I took the wrong lab report. What? Oh, no. I think I left the report in the car. Where? When he went upstairs, did he take the report or not? Oh, no. You left it in the car? Where is the report? In the passenger seat. I'll go get it now. Wait, you don't have the keys. How can you get it? Ah, well, I cannot get close to Pei Xiao. Then you have to find a way to steal the keys from him. Okay? What? I'll wait for you here. Go, 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 go. Hurry up. Depart in 20 minutes. Go to Ming City for a meeting. I found it! I found it! Oh my god! It's too late! Oh dear, I need you. Mr. Bay, you shouldn't mind the cost of repairing the car, right? Hurry up and destroy it on the spot. Don't let Mr. Bay see it. How did you get it? I, I smashed Mr. Bay's car. What? When I heard the car alarm, I came immediately. Our car was smashed and the passenger window completely shattered. Check the surveillance footage. This is... you... how dare you do this? You smashed the car like this, you will definitely investigate thoroughly. Oh dear, what could I do? You didn't know how urgent the situation was at the time. Can you guarantee that you weren't caught on surveillance? They must have gone to the surveillance room by now. Of course, I can't. Oh, I'm doomed. Ah, but don't worry, I've already destroyed the surveillance room. They won't find anything. Great! It's, uh, what happened? The footage was destroyed, just like the hotel footage last time. Are you saying it was done by the same person? Are you saying it was done by the same person? I'm afraid so. That's to say, the woman we are looking for, or rather, her accomplice, is very likely someone from within the company. Most likely. Alright, Liang Manku is starting to infiltrate people around me. It's time for a reshuffle. Yes, 
I will investigate everything thoroughly. Investigate everything thoroughly. I want Liu Manka to know that she doesn't own what she's after. She'd better not even think about it. Yes. Where is Bei Xiao? Mr. Bei went out. He is not here. Perfect timing. I want to see what she's up to. I'm here on behalf of Lord Bei to catch up with Mr. Bei. Since he's not here, I'll wait for him inside. Uh, Mrs. Liang, you cannot... How dare you? Excuse me. You cannot barge into the CEO's office without permission. You little chick, open your eyes and take a good look at who I am. Oops, it is you, Mrs. Liang. You. <coughs> Mrs. Liang, no one can enter this private office without permission. Even Lord Pei himself needs to make an appointment. Moreover, you're an outsider. You chick. Don't think that just because of Pei Xiao's status, you can talk to me like that. One day, I'll make you pay the price for what you say today. I'm sorry, I'm just doing my job. If that day really comes, let's talk about it when it arrives. For now, please leave. I will tell Mr. Pei about what happened here today without omitting a single word. Are you trying to scare me? I dare not. You seem quite daring. I... You seem quite daring. I... Miss Liang, why are you so free today to come here and cause trouble for you? You dare to lay a hand on me. It's Lord Bei who asked me to invite you back. Then please, do me a favor and convey to him that if he wants to see me, he should come here in person. But then again, that old man treats you really well. So well that you've forgotten whose family name this is, right? Miss Liang. Don't worry, I don't hit women. Otherwise, you wouldn't have made it to today. Security, take Miss Liang home. Don't act tough in such situations again. Do you hear me? Hmm. What's wrong? Did she hurt you? No. I'm just a little bit startled. Startled? Weren't you just being tough with her? She called me a chick first. You did nothing wrong. No one can make you feel wronged in my presence. Uh, she just said she was delivering a message on behalf of Lord Pei. Can you let her go like that? Isn't that inappropriate? She has been over the line lately. We have to deal with the Liangs as soon as possible, so that she can stop messing with us. So Pei Xiao thinks that Liang Manke is behind all this. When he finds out that these were all done by me and Yan Zhu, he'll be in big trouble. Let go! Get away! <sighs> Let go of me! Hey! You jerk! I'll make you pay for this! <laughs> Miss Liang, we found out that Pei Xiao's first love, Li Weiye, is coming back soon. Li Weiye? Hmm. When she comes back, set up a meeting for us. I want to see how arrogant Ku Yin can be. Mr. Pei, what are we doing here today? Trying on wedding dresses. Try on wedding dresses? The wedding date is already set. Before that, we need to prepare the wedding dress. Oh. Hello, Mr. Pei. These are the custom-made dresses you ordered before. All of them are custom-made? Yes. All of these were made according to the measurements and style that Mr. Pei gave us. It's such a waste. Go ahead and try them on. If they don't fit, I'll have them replaced. Please follow me. How did he know my size? Could it be... <sighs> what I'm thinking about? What's wrong? Nothing. It's just that the back of the dress is hard to fasten. How about this? I feel like you've lost weight again recently. Ah, uh, maybe it's because of my upset stomach, so... But it's weird that 
you seem to have a small belly bulge. Bloating? Oh no, if it continues like this, I may expose myself before the wedding. Oh, by the way, Mr. Pei, what is the date of the wedding? It's at the end of this month. Why? You are anxious for it? No, I'm just checking the time to see if I need to control my weight, lose some weight or something. It seems that I have to get through the wedding as soon as possible. I see. Okay. Mr. Luo, this is the information of employees hired in the past five years. I put it here for you. Yanche, she's the one who always hangs out with Assistant Gu, graduated from Computer Science Department. Hello. I see. If I remember it correctly, the girl who always hangs out with you is named Yan Chu, right? Hmm, what's wrong? Her family has a small factory and they have been the supplier to the base. Oh, did he discover that it was Joe smashed the car? I believe I have warned you not to hide anything from me. I... You what? Weren't you very eloquent when you argued with Liang Manke before? Mr. Pei, anyway, could you please spare Yan Chu for now? Then you have to tell me why she smashed my car. I don't know. Oh no, Mr. Pei found out after all. You don't know? I don't know. Fine. I'll immediately terminate the partnership with the Yans and send her to the desert factory and never let her. Mr. Pei, it was me. It was me who asked her to smash your car. Please punish me instead. Huh, why? Mr. Pei, I'm sorry. I lied to you. Sorry, Mr. Pei. I lied to you. Open your eyes. Tell me, what did you lie to me about? What should I do? Should I admit it now? What happens after I admit it? Will I be able to keep the house? Yan Chu? I'm sick. I'm afraid that after you find out, I won't be able to fulfill the contract anymore. What illness? Gastric cancer. Gastric cancer. Are you serious? I'm serious. I was just afraid that the medical report will be found in your car, so I had Yan Chu smash it. Then, the person who deleted the video and that night at the hotel? I don't know! I really don't know! I just had Yan Chu smash the car and take out the report. I have nothing to do with deleting the video. It has nothing to do with any of us. Didn't you suspect that Liang Manka did it? I didn't know her before. Hello. I see. I'll be right back. I have to go to the company now. Huh? Is it okay for you to go home by yourself? Huh? There is a situation! I need to get a stomach cancer report from the hospital! Mr. Pei. Mr. Pei. It's your turn. Okay. Uh, let's end the meeting here for today. Adjourn. Mr. Pei, do you have something on your mind? Is it because of Aston Gu and Yan Chu? The car was smashed by them. It has nothing to do with Liang Mangku. Huh? Do you know any authoritative gastroenterologist? Gu Yin, she may... She may have stomach cancer. Are you still feeling unwell? I asked Lu Yun to contact the best doctor. They will come to your house tomorrow for an examination. Seeing a doctor? Hmm. It's the most authoritative one. With him here, nothing will go wrong. But I don't want to see a doctor. I'm fine. If you're sick, you should see a doctor. Stop talking nonsense. I... This law is getting big. The doctor is coming for an examination. How can I cover it up then? When will he come? Early tomorrow morning. I've rescheduled all my work. I'll be at home with you tomorrow. That means I only have this one night left to live. <laughs> Mr. 
Mr. Pei. Hey, Dr. Bai. This old man doesn't seem easy to fool. Greet him. Who is this? Dr. Bai. Hello, Dr. Bai. Don't worry, Miss Pei. Mr. Pei has already informed me about your condition over the phone. With me here, nothing major will happen. It's because of you that things will go wrong. Where are you going? Uh, I think I'm fine. There's no need for an examination, actually. You do. I... Doctor, this device, what can it really detect? Miss Pei, the equipment can detect any health conditions, except for lying. Uh, doctor, I have a fear of blood. Look at me. I'll faint at the sight of needles. I cannot handle it. It's done. It's done. Why are you still so nervous? I feel dizzy. If I get exposed later, how am I going to explain? Andrew is not by my side either. What should I do? If I get exposed later, how am I going to explain? Andrew is not by my side either. What should I do? The results are out. How is it? Mr. Pei, Miss Pei, she is very well. What? Very well. It might be a misdiagnosis by the hospital, but Miss Pei is indeed not sick. Yeah, we can say it's a misdiagnosis. Misdiagnosis, yes. How could I possibly be sick? A misdiagnosis is great. To misdiagnose such a serious illness, which doctor did you see? I think this doctor is useless. You shouldn't say that. In a hospital with so many patients coming and going, an occasional misdiagnosis is normal. Give it to me. Mr. Pei, you focus on other matters. I'll handle this. Here is a call for you. Dr. Pai, let me help you put it away. Oh, thank you. You should rest well. And now you can rest assured that you're going to have a good pregnancy. Let me walk you out. Wait a moment. Ah. Dr. Bai, thank you for coming all this way. It's no trouble. Over these years, hasn't your family caused me enough trouble? <laughs> so, is she really alright now? Is there anything we need to be cautious about? During unstable times, avoid intimacy. Unstable? I mean, within the next three months, she... Dr. Pai, isn't this box quite heavy? Let me help you carry it, and I'll see you off. Yes, it is really heavy, but considering your current condition, you shouldn't carry anything heavy. <laughs> Mr. Pei, I have something to attend to, so I'll leave first. Take care. Ah, by the way, you had better prepare some bird's nests at home recently. Those bird's nests, they're beneficial during pregnancy. <coughs> Are you okay? Those bird's nests, they're beneficial during pregnancy. <coughs> Are you okay? Dr. Pai, if you don't leave now, I'll definitely not be okay. Be careful. You can't afford to catch cold, okay? Don't worry, Dr. Pai. I'll take good care of myself. Have a good day. Thanks for coming. I will definitely take care of my health. If this continues, I might be dead soon. Mr. Pei, why are you staring at me? Tell me, which doctor did the examination for you? It was at Chongxin Hospital. I cannot remember the specific doctor. Oh no, would Pei Xiao really hold that doctor accountable? Forget it. Everything is good, as long as you are fine. About our wedding, should we have your mom come over? My mom? Yeah. After all, marriage is a big deal. I think that you would be happier if your family is there. Mr. Pei, my mom abandoned me and my sister to escape her dad back then. She hasn't cared or asked about us all these years. Since you don't want to see her, I won't bring it up again in the future. Don't worry, no one will bully you. Or your sister anymore. Are all these things that he's doing for me also part of the contract? Here, keep it. 
This time, there won't be any mistakes. One is the stomach cancer test report I helped you fix before. Puyin, have you thought about it? Do you want to use this opportunity to terminate the pregnancy? I'm afraid. If there is another mistake next time, it won't be easy to deceive him. Chu, to be honest, I haven't made up my mind yet. In the past few days, Mr. Pei has been treating me well. But this has nothing to do with giving birth to his child. Think about it. Are you sure you can keep everything from him? Are you sure that he really likes you? You're just bound by a contract. But there are no other women around him now. Let's take one step at a time. Welcome back, Miss Lee. During my absence, did anything interesting happen? Everything's normal, but... But what? I heard that the CEO of the Pace, Pei Xiao, seems to be engaged to someone. Pei Xiao is engaged? How is that possible? Pei Xiao has never been involved with women. Have you found out about the background of the woman? Everyone is curious about the background of the future, Mrs. Pei. But it seems like no one can find any information. It's really interesting. Go. Send an invitation to the Pace. Tell Pei Xiao that Li Wei Yue has returned. Mrs. Bay, let me do it. If Mr. Bay finds out you're cooking, he'll scold us again. It's fine. Oni Chen, I've got to cook myself to show my insincerity. Here, have a taste. Let me know how it tastes. Mmm, it's good. It's rare to see you cooking today. Mr. Bay will definitely be happy when he finds out. Yeah. I hope he likes it. Mrs. Bay, Mr. Bay is probably working overtime again. Why don't you eat first? You don't have to wait for him. I'll wait a little bit longer. Even if he is working overtime, he should be home soon. But it's getting late. You should rest first, Audi Chen. I'll wait a bit longer. Ah. Mr. Pei, are you still busy? I'm working overtime. I'll be home late. Xiao. Long time no see. Mr. Pei? Didn't I say not to wait for me today? Mr. Pei, have you eaten yet? I've prepared dinner for you today. I've eaten already. Didn't you say you're working over time? I didn't say I'll be working at the office. Having a meal, drinking, and discussing business is also considered overtime. I see. What did you prepare for me? I actually learned a few dishes from Auntie Chen. I wanted to cook for you myself as a way to repay you for helping me solve my problems at home before. Are you sure it's repayment and not murder? Don't forget it. You won't be able to eat it anyway. Tomorrow, I'll pack it and take it to the office myself. Pack one for me too. I thought you never ate leftovers. Don't talk nonsense. Then how about this, Mr. Pei? Tomorrow, I'll make another one for you. Tomorrow, I'll only eat leftovers. Go to sleep. What's going on? Kuyin? Are you okay? What's wrong? 
What happened? Oh, I heard. Everyone say that a childhood sweetheart of Mr. Pei just returned from abroad. Mr. Pei has a childhood sweetheart. How come I have not heard about it? What? You're with Mr. Pei every day. How come I know more than you? And I heard that his childhood sweetheart is a wealthy heiress studying jewelry design. She's a genuine beauty from a rich family. Yes, she is. She just returned from abroad a few days ago. Hey, has Pei Xiao been acting strangely recently? Acting strangely? Pack one for me too. Is it considered weird that he suddenly craved for leftovers? Forget it! Your thick hat is like a block of wood. It's pointless to ask. Let's go. Hey, you only cook for Mr. Pei, huh? How about mine? You can eat mine. That's more like it. What did you make today? Hi, I'm looking for Pei Xiao. Is he here? Oh, he, he's here. <gasps> Mr. Pei? When can you? Someone is here for you. Wei Yue, why are you here? She is the one I told you before, his childhood sweetheart. So it's her. He came to see me last night and left your cufflinks behind. They met yesterday, so Mr. Pei was not working over time. He went to meet his childhood sweetheart. But why did he leave his cufflinks here? <laughs> thank you. I came all the way here, and all you have to say is thank you. What do you mean? What do I mean? Why don't you buy me lunch? No problem. Let's go. So Mr. Pei can be so gentle towards other girls. Mr. Pei, how come you're back? Uh. She suddenly had something to do, so the lunch was cancelled. Then I remembered. Someone said she prepared lunch for me. Where is it? Secretary Gu? Mm, I'll buy you a new one. I told you that I'm only eating leftovers today. Mm, what should I do? Why don't you eat mine? But, Mr. Pei, I've already touched it. Don't you mind? Do you think I mind? How about this? You can have a taste. If you think it's alright, I'll make it again for you. I haven't washed my hands. I can't take it. I'll feed you then. Not bad. Keep it up. Oh, by the way, Li is preparing a banquet to welcome Li Wei Yu. Get ready. We're going to get her tomorrow. Are you asking me to attend Li Wei Yu's welcome home banquet? Yes. There are so many people here. Pei Xiao might end up drinking a lot later. But I'm pregnant. What should I do then? Hey, Mr. Pei. Long time no see. It seems that Miss Li is quite influential. Otherwise, we wouldn't see you. Who is this? Long time no see. Mr. Lu is still hands-on as ever, huh? Xiao, you're here. Assistant Gu is here too. You're looking really stylish today. Oh, hey everyone. Let's not just stand around here. Let's go inside. Assistant Gu, I thought she was some impressive woman. Turns out she's just an assistant. Hmm.
Wanna give it a try? No, I'm a bit hesitant. It's on me if you lose, but it's yours if you win it. Feel free to play. Really? Mr. Pei, I heard that you're good at cards. Why don't we have a friendly match? Mr. Liu, only people with similar levels of skills can have a friendly match, don't you think? Shit. It's not easy for us to get together. It's mainly for the fun of it. Why don't we just play a couple of games together here? As expected. She can make Pei Xiao listen to her. There are two of us. It wouldn't be fair if we all play. Let Gu Yin be my substitute then. Mr. Pei, it's a bit disrespectful to bring an assistant to accompany us, isn't it? She's my assistant, but she is also my fiancé. Announcing his engagement in public, wouldn't Li Wei Yu become a joke in front of Pei Xiao? Excuse me everyone, I'm not feeling well. I'll take my leave for now. As expected, Li Wei Yue is still more important to him. Wei Yu, I'm here today to celebrate your return to China. I didn't mean to upset you. I've heard earlier that you got engaged to another woman, but I didn't expect her to be that assistant. I treated that rumors outside as mere gossip, or maybe it's just your excuse to fight against your family? It's been so many years. I didn't plan to hide it from you either. Initially, Gu Yin and I were indeed in contractual relationship, but later on... Contract? Pei Xiao, he can fool others, but not me. I'm a woman too. Clearly, you and her went from pretending to having real feelings. Alright, let me ask you now. If I ask you to break up with her and marry me, will you do it? Miss Gu, you don't have to worry about it. Mr. Pei and Miss Lee haven't seen each other for years. They've got loads to catch up on. Let's have a drink of water first. Thank you. This is quite boring. Why don't we take a break over there? Xiao. Is our relationship of so many years really inferior to hers? I'm sorry. Xiao! It seems that woman is a tough opponent. Where's Gu Yin? She has just left with Mr. Lu about 10 minutes ago. Mr. Lu. Where are we? Where is Pei Xiao? Pei Xiao? Miss Gu, Mr. Pei is busy right now. He told you to take a rest here. Mr. Lu, what are you doing? Mr. Lu, what are you doing? <laughs> what am I doing? You're by Mr. Pei's side, doing exactly what I do, right? If he can do it, so can I. I'm not just Mr. Pei's assistant, I'm also his fiance. If you dare to lay your fingers on me, he won't let you off. <laughs> I would like to see if Mr. Pei acts faster, or Liang Mangke acts faster. Liang Mangke? What do you mean? Oh, you don't know yet? Mr. Pei and Liang Mangke have been in fierce battle over the family business. So if I take care of you, do you think Liang Mangke would be grateful to me? <laughs> Save me. <laughs> Stop struggling. I drank the water you drink. It's quite potent. <laughs> Pei Xiao, save me. Pei Xiao. Ugh. Pei Xiao, why did you come back? 
Beijo, you. Why did you come back? I'm surprised that you still recognize me, Mr. Liu. Beijo, I know very well that you were behind the accusations of Liang's overseas assets. So what? Aren't you afraid that I'll team up with Liang Manke and drag you down? Come at me directly, if you dare. How cowardly of you to go after a woman. <laughs> Liang Manke truly understands you. This little assistant is your weak spot. Oh, Mr. Pei, stay calm. Take him away. Take him away. Hold on. If you dare to touch her again in the future, I'll make sure you'll rot in hell with Liang Manga. Take him away. Guyen. I feel terrible. I'll take you to the hospital. Again, where are you going? I, I, what are you trying to say? I'll take responsibility. I don't need you to take responsibility. I didn't mean it. It's Mr. Lu, Secretary Gu. I thought you said you didn't have a boyfriend. I didn't expect you to be so experienced. Who did you learn from? Of course, I learned it from you that night. Three, Please stop asking two, me, Mr. Pei. I really don't. Since we made the agreement, I haven't been involved with any other man. Mr. Pei, Mr. Pei, there's an issue with the hospital report. It wasn't misdiagnosis. It was requested by Yan Chu. Gu Yin. How many more things are you hiding from me? Are you sure they were the two women in the photo? Yes, yes, it was this woman who came to me for a report. It's not a misdiagnosis. Can you vouch for the accuracy of what you're saying? Mr. Pei, Mr. Lu already informed me of how serious this matter is. I guarantee it was this woman. What about this report? Is it real or fake? Uh, it's real. The patient has a record at our hospital. She has been pregnant for quite some time. Pregnant? I thought you said you didn't have a boyfriend. I didn't expect you to be so experienced. Since you made the agreement, I haven't been involved with any other man. Ku Yin, you're indeed hiding something from me. Mr. Pei, what about Secretary Gu's child? Should I arrange a surgery? Find out who's the father first. Yes, Mr. Pei. Hey, don't let anyone else know about this. I'd like to see, how are you going to explain this time? Miss Lee, to be honest, I've always liked you. But it seems like our families are not meant to be. It's all Kuyin's fault. How dare she think she can become the daughter-in-law of the base? <laughs> Auntie, I'm just not destined to be with Xiao. You can say that. When there is a will, there is a way. As long as we work together. There is nothing we cannot achieve. Work together. Since auntie is willing to help me, there must be some benefits you're seeking, right? <laughs> you are a smart one, Miss Lee. Once our deal is done, the pace will be mine. And Pei Xiao will be yours. If that is the case, let's work together. Miss Lee, can I help you with anything? Assistant Gu, I want to talk to you about something. Go on. It's hard to talk about it over the phone. Why don't we meet tomorrow? Okay, no problem. 
Why did she come to me? Could it be related to Peishal? Assistant Ku, I have ordered a cup of latte for you. I hope you like it. Sorry, I've been having some stomach issues lately, so I cannot have any coffee. Oh, I see. Xiao always has to drink a cup of coffee in the morning to start his work. When I was still around, I used to prepare it for him. He always likes to drink coffee with double syrup. You must be surprised that someone as serious as Xiao would have the taste of a child. Miss Li, I suppose he came to see me not just to discuss Mr. Pei's taste, right? I still have work to do. If that is all you have to say, I'll be taking my leave. Assistant Ku, I just want to tell you that you don't know anything about him. Please get to the point, Miss Li. Since that's the case, I want you to leave Xiao. Whatever he gave you. Money, house, and resources, I can provide it all, as long as you stay away from him. Miss Lee, the conditions you're offering aren't that impressive. Liang Manko has also offered them before. Or perhaps, I can send you abroad. I can send you to a place where Xiao cannot find you. I will not leave him. If this is all you have to say, I'll be leaving. Kuyin, think carefully. My methods are different from Liang Manko's. You... Assistant Ku, is the coffee good? Oh no, there is something wrong with the coffee. Mr. Pei! You better have an urgent matter. I I'm sorry, Mr. Pei. Assistant Gu, she's gone missing. Gone missing? Yes, she didn't answer her phone. I went to the places she might have gone to, but I couldn't find her anywhere. Where is Xian Chu? Bring her to me. Yes. Oh no. Did they find out about the forged lab report? Mr. Pei and Mr. Luo look terrifying. Go on. Mr. Pei, do you want me to report on my work? Quit pretending. Where did you hide Gu Yin? Huh? Yin? What is Mr. Pei talking about? I haven't been in contact with Yin today. I really don't know. Stop pretending. We've already investigated that lab report. Gastric cancer? How creative of you. Mr. Luo, Mr. Pei. <sighs> I'll be honest with you guys. My family is urging me to get married, so I forged a fake lab report. Oh. So you're the one who's pregnant. Luyan, take her to the hospital for a checkup. Yes. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. It's not me. So, it's Gu Yin then. Ah, uh, no. It's not her. It is. It's not well. So, it's Gu Yin who's pregnant. Ah, uh, no. It's not her. It is. It's not well. Mr. Bei, you needs to explain it to yourself. Fine. Bring her here. I'll listen to her explanation. Ah, uh, Yin, she... she... I don't know. I swear, I don't know where she is. This is bad. So, Liang Manka did it. Yes, Mr. Pei. Lately, the Liangs is on the verge of bankruptcy overseas. She's desperate. So now Yin is in the danger, isn't she? What should we do? And Yin is pregnant. Well, what I meant was... I already knew she was pregnant. What? You? Who is the father? I cannot tell you. You! Enough! The most important thing right now is to find Gu Yin. Didn't you say that sending Gu Yin away will be enough? Bei Xiao, it's not that easy to deal with. You need to play along with me. Where am I? You didn't tell me that it will be so troublesome. Plans change quickly. What you're gonna do is simple. I'll set a fire here, and you'll pretend. you pretend to fail in rescuing Kuyin. By then, when Kuyin dies, Pei Xiao won't be able to trace it back to you. 
Do you think I'm as foolish as Kuyin? When the fire breaks out, whether it's her or me that's gonna die, that's a different matter. Liang Manke, you're burning bridges. Aren't you? Only looking out for yourself, right? Let me tell you. I'm sorry. I won't participate in your plan anymore. As for Kuyin's situation, handle it yourself. You! Wait! You cannot kill me! That is not up to you. I have a greater use. I'm pregnant with Pei Xiao's child. Is it true? I advise you not to lie to me. Your life is in my hands. Haven't you been looking for the woman who slept with Pei Xiao that night? I am the woman. How can you prove it? I don't need to prove it. Her methods are limitless, so naturally you can send someone to investigate. What I said can withstand scrutiny. I think, you're not that eager to take my life. Hey, go check Kuyen's medical report for me. No matter what, this will buy me some time, Hey Xiao. Will I be able to wait until you come and save me? How is it going? Any update regarding Yin? It's indeed Liang Mangke. Mr. Pei, I'll send someone to investigate right now. I'll get her out. No matter what. It's useless for you to go. It will only make her more desperate. Hmm. So what does she want? The company's share allocation document. She wants me to take the shares to redeem my fiancé. And my child. Where is she? Come out! Mr. Pei, where is the share allocation document I asked for? What's the hurry, Mrs. Liang? I need to confirm whether what you said is true or false. <laughs> Seems like you won't turn back until you knock into the wall. Aren't you afraid about Kuyin and your child's safety? Does it have anything to do with me? Do you have any evidence to support your claim that she's carrying my child? Weren't you looking for the woman who slept with Pei Xiao that night? That person is me. It's really her, Kuyin. You're really good at lying to me. Kuyin, you're really good at lying to me. <laughs> Do you believe me now? Mrs. Liang is really good at this. Impressive. But even if she's pregnant with my child, so what? Do you think I would give up my shares just for a mere secretary? I have plenty of women like her. Sure enough, you're from the base. Just as ruthless as your father. I knew you'd pull this move. That's why I had no intention of letting you go today. Since Kuyin carries the bloodline of the base in her belly. There is no need for you, Pei Xiao, to exist anymore today. It's your time to die. But don't worry, I will take good care of your child for you. After all, this is the last bloodline of the base. I am a traditional person. I'll take care of my own child. Oh no, I'm afraid you don't have a chance to do so. Bring them in. Leave no survivors. Luyan. Did you hear what Mrs. Liang just said? Yes, I did. Mrs. Liang just said, leave no survivors. Guyin! Bei Xiao, I'm here! Bei Xiao, I can't defeat you, but I'll take your woman and child with me to hell! Guyin! But I'll take your woman and child with me to hell! Guyin!
孤烟。白小。You're finally here. Please protect my child. He's our child. I'll take you to the hospital. Calm down, Mr. Pei. I'm begging you. No matter what, you must save her. She's the most important person to me now. Don't worry. I'll do my best. Mr. Pei, the young monk has woken up. Apart from some minor injuries, her mental condition is fine. All right. Let's go see her then. Let's settle everything with her once and for all. You're really lucky. You're not suspected of kidnapping and extortion. We have already reported the case. <gasps> no, don't. Don't. You killed my fiance, and you're telling me no. I didn't, Mister Bay. I just pushed her lightly. I didn't kill her. <sighs> you just pushed her lightly, huh? Mister Bay, I'm sorry. I deserve to die. I was out of my mind, so I. Uh, 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 uh. I should thank you for being out of your mind, because from now on, the Liang's properties will be Gu Yin's dowry. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Pei, Miss Gu's surgery is over. How was it? Don't worry, Miss Gu is out of danger now. That's great. Uh, what about the baby? Don't worry, the baby is also safe. It's just that Miss Gu is still unconscious. We don't know when she will wake up. Uh, take me to her. You're weak. I thought I would never see you again. How about my baby? Our baby's fine. Our? Michelle, you already know? I'm not really sure. After all, you fly to me too many times. First, you slept with me, but you denied it. Ah, uh, I just... Second, you teamed up with Yan Chu to lie to me after you got pregnant. You even went so far as to forge hospital's report. Let me see if there's anything else. There isn't. Or maybe you should let me explain. Ah, sure. Go ahead. Yes, I lied to you. It's true that I've been hiding something from you, but now there is nothing left for me to hide. I will leave it to you, Mr. Pei. But my sister and Yan Chu are innocent. They have nothing to do with this. Of course, they have nothing to do with it. I'll punish you after you've recovered from your injuries. Marry me. Didn't we already? It feels like a dream. Do you think marrying me is like a dream? No, it's just that I never expected you to truly fall in love with me. Actually, I've liked you for a long time. But you always wanted to run away, so I just had to find a way to keep you by my side. Pei Xiao, 
from now on, I will definitely never leave you.